Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you something I haven't done for a very long time. A figure review. And if you guys have been with my channel for a long time, you know I started out solely doing videos on mostly Marvel Legends, Marvel Selects, um, some NECA figures, uh, you know, like Jason, Freddy, and things like that, Predators. Um, you know, I, you know, my channel used to mainly be focused on that until a while ago when I changed myself from Marvel Jacob to Bloody Jacob, and I sort of abandoned the whole figure video thing. Um, I don't buy figures nearly as often as I used to anymore. Um, I hardly ever get any ever unless it's really something that catches my eye. And, yeah, and I guess uh, I wasn't really planning on doing figure reviews again. I still have most of my collection, but, yeah, I, I just, you know, with this bloody Jacob channel, I just wanted to solely focus on uh, the TV shows, horror, and different things like that, so, yeah, but uh, there are a couple figures I think I could still review that would still fit in within my uh, horror-themed channel. Um, you know, if they're, like, horror-themed figures, obviously. So, I'm here today to review the Marvel Legends Monsters 4-pack Dracula figure. Yeah, and this is, a uh, Toy Biz Marvel Legends. And, uh, I forget what year they released this pack. It came with Dracula, of course, uh, Werewolf by Night, uh, their version of Frankenstein. And, uh, I believe it was Zombie, or I may be getting the name mixed up, but... So yeah, those were the characters that were in the pack. I got it a while ago at my comic book shop, back when they actually had a lot of figures, but now we just, uh, have some comic books and some figures that aren't really worth getting. They're, they have a much, much smaller space now, so I don't really have any, like, resource, immediate resource for figures like this anymore. But back when they had a bigger space and they had, like, walls full of Marvel Legends and Marvel Selects, I did pick up the Monsters 4 pack years ago. And yeah, um, I just was going through uh, the box that I keep some of my figures and I don't display, and I found this guy again. And of course, you guys know how much I like vampires, and um, especially Dracula, you know, NBC's Dracula, Jonathan Reese Myers, and all that. And you've seen my hype videos for Dracula Untold in October. And yeah, this figure is based off of Marvel's version of Dracula, which of course came from the Tomb of Dracula series, which was in the 70s. And I think it, according to this, the, it aired or it was issued from 1972 to 1979 or so. And so yeah, I kind of like ran along with the Werewolf by Night series from Marvel in the 70s too. So, I have some of the Werewolf by Night comics, unfortunately I don't have any of the Tomb of Dracula comics. I'd actually be interested in, like, uh, getting into the Tomb of Dracula comics at some point, but the only way I could get a hold of those now is if I went on Amazon and, like, ordered, like, a volume of them or something like that. So, I don't know, I might do that at some point, but there's other things I'd want to get right now. Uh, you know, like my Vampire Diaries, I need to get the first season of that going on that show, and then I want to get a hold of uh, Catherine Isabel's Torment on DVD as well. But at some point I won't mind picking up some of the Tomb of Dracula comics, and yeah, so let's actually look at the figure here. Um, so uh, yeah, whenever I think Dracula, I sort of think, you know, Jonathan Rhys Meyers on NBC, but as far as the likeness to the Tomb of Dracula comics go, uh, I know I don't really think my webcam is picking up the face the greatest. There's like a light or it's glare, but as far as the likeness to the Tomb of Dracula comics go, I'd say it's pretty dead on for the uh, most of the art in the comics. It's pretty accurate in my opinion. So I'll give you a quick 360. And by the way, the cape's pretty cool too. I like the sculpts. I like the collar and the I forget what you'd call this part of it, but that looks really cool. Um, and of course you can unsnap it, or at least mine does, I think mine might have broken a little bit, but yeah, you can just uh, get them out of the cape and yeah, you can pose them a little bit more, but there's a lot of freedom with the cape on as well, but it's just a little bit easier to show you guys all the articulation with the cape off, 
And of course, without the cape on, it definitely reminds me of uh, Dracula on NBC. <laughs> but, you know, he doesn't quite look like Jonathan Rhys Meyers. Of course, he's not based off of him. And like I said, it's pretty dead on to the Tomb of Dracula comics. I'll try to give you a close up of the face sculpt. I know it's a little blurry and it's not quite focusing right. Ooh, that's a pretty good focus here. Great. I gave you a pretty decent look here, I think. So, yeah, the face sculpt is actually really good, in my opinion. Um, and the hair, you know, it's just uh, some sculpted short hair, but, you know, it has a good texture to it. You know, it's not completely smooth. So, that's good. And another thing I want to point out is the hands. There's no, like, extended claws on them or anything, but I really like how they make the fingers look, like, really extended. Like, there are claws there, and, you know, they're, like, really bony and stuff, so, yeah, it looks really cool in my opinion. I really like the sculpt on this. And, yeah, the vest he's wearing, and, you know, it looks all fancy and, you know, good for the time and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's all good, and, you know, the shoes he's wearing are have like a slightly shinier paint than the rest of the black on the figure. Looks pretty nice. And I'll give you a close up for the cape again now. I told you like the sculpt. And it's a uh, like a darker red on the inside with some mine's a little dusty, I apologize, but with some black subtle black shading on the red. It looks pretty cool. So there's a the cape and uh let me see if I can give you a close look at the teeth. They're really hard to see. Hopefully you can get that good focus for it again. Give it a second. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I don't, my webcam isn't like a top of the line HD camera or anything, but I think it still works pretty well for the most part for my discussion videos and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it doesn't focus right away with uh, smaller things like this, but there are, you can see like uh, some of the fangs on the corners of the mouth and stuff like that when you actually have the figure. They're there. Okay, so I went over most of the little details I liked and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys the articulation now. And you know, the foot goes up and down like that, really nice. Of course, that's the ankle pivot. Charmers Prime probably enjoys that part of it the most. Um, it has a calf swivel, 360, pretty nice. Double jointed at the knee. And a thigh swivel. Yeah, this figure has a great amount of articulation, actually. It's really nice. Thigh swivel, the leg goes up like that, down like that, to the side like that. It's pretty cool, it's on a ball joint. Uh, there's no... There's like some kind of waist articulation, I guess. Kind of hard to tell, I've been kind of out of practice with this for a while. Like the entire torso piece is on like a swivel, so you can turn it... So you can turn the body like that and stuff. There's no uh, torso diaphragm joint or anything like that. But it doesn't really hurt the figure in my opinion. And, you know, you just move the set of fingers at the same time like that. Again, I really like the bony extended finger sculpting on this. So, yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect. 360 degree turn with the hand. Double jointed elbows, which is nice. And you have a bicep swivel. Yeah, again, a lot of articulation in this, really. Kind of surprised. You know, like, I haven't really looked at some of my figures in a while, so... Kind of getting back into the grind. And then, of course, the shoulder itself goes out like that, in like that. You know, can do a 360. And the head has a great, great amount of articulation. It looks up really far, so you can give it sort of like a flying pose, which is really cool. And it actually looks pretty good like that. So... Yeah, it's pretty nice. I really like it. Yeah, this is an awesome figure, man. <laughs> okay, um... And yeah, there's some little sculpting thing I like about the face, too, that I didn't point out before, is the ears. There's some paint, uh, screw up here, but... 
you know, some of the skin color going into the hair a little bit too much. But uh, it's not too bad. I've seen worse. So I like the extended pointed ears. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I really, I really like how you can get him into like a flying pose. I'm probably gonna go back and forth between displaying him with the cape and without it. I think he looks good both ways. You know, either could really pass for a classic Dracula look, in my opinion. And you know, of course, I'm partial to the NBC Jonathan Rhys Meyers Dracula, so I might display him without the cape just for that reason. But he really does look good either way. Um, so yeah, just a great, great figure. Again, Toy Biz was usually pretty consistent with their uh, quality. Um, we all remember those days, right? And um, yeah, even though Hasbro has gotten better, I mean, I, ha I haven't been picking up figures for a long time, but I've seen, I still watch Sharmus Prime's videos, um, Sentry Productions videos once in a while, but mostly Sharmus sees the man when it comes to this stuff. But I think he has some very old reviews of these, of uh, this four pack. But, uh, I guess I might want to look that up on Charmus Prime's channel. You guys all know who he is. So yeah, just a great figure. Um, I definitely recommend uh, picking up the Monsters 4 pack. It might be kind of hard to come by nowadays. But yeah, in fact, let's check to see how much that 4 pack is going for on eBay. Give me a second, guys. I'll give you like a price range for it nowadays. Uh... Sorry, my computer's running a tad bit slow. No, it's not. Okay, so Marvel Monsters 4 pack. We'll type that in. Yeah, yeah, like I thought, this figure's pretty... I mean, the 4 pack itself, if you want to get all four of the figures, is pretty expensive. I see one going for 199 bucks, and then... Uh, Another one slightly cheaper at 139 bucks. So yeah, not very cheap to get. But I'd say it's worth it because all the figures are pretty high quality. They all have a great amount of articulation and the sculpting for all of them is pretty solid. And uh, you can of course try find this Dracula figure loose. Which I think is possible. Let me see if I can find that for you guys. Yeah, you can find this figure loose, and it usually looks like it's going for between like eight to twenty bucks. Most expensive one is twenty-four, and there's one that's going for about eleven. There's another going for around nine bucks. So yeah, you can find it loose if you really want to get just this guy. But you can't go really go wrong with any of the figures. So pick up the box set, Marvel Legends Monsters. So. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys uh, next time, and the next video you'll probably see from me is my Ginger Snaps 2 Unleashed review. I'll be watching that movie again tonight, and I'll be putting out the review by tomorrow afternoon at the latest. So, yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not really planning on doing many figure reviews again, but if it's like horror figures I really like, like this one, then I'll probably review it at some point. I may review the Werewolf by Night figure from the 4-pack because I really like that comic book series too. So you might see that eventually, but I wouldn't expect a huge uh, figure review comeback from me anytime soon. But yeah, this is definitely a good figure, one I'll be dis displaying, not just because it's Marvel, but because it reminds me of like the Dracula character in general. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time, tomorrow afternoon at latest, and uh, peace.